Let's see what ChatGPT is. The idea is for you to get to know ChatGPT, understand its limitations, be aware of the paid version, which is ChatGPT Plus, and make an informed decision. Well, ChatGPT is what is known as a large language model. It's an artificial intelligence model. A chatbot meaning it is a program designed to interact with users based on artificial intelligence. It is based on GPT, which stands for Generative Pre-trained Transformers, a technology based on neural networks. But all of that doesn't matter, because what's important here is for you to see what you can do with it. It is a tool that allows you to get well-crafted text responses. This doesn't mean it understands what we're saying, as ultimately it operates on a mathematical model behind the scenes. That based on the words that have been input, predicts what the next word is. And this produces a response that makes a lot of sense, but we should always verify because it may not be entirely accurate, as we'll see now. To access ChatGPT, you have to go to chat.openai.com. It was launched in November 2022 and already has over 130 million users, making it one of the applications that has gained the most users in a short time on the internet. It has a free version and a paid version, which costs $20 per month, called GPT+. Let's go. Here on one side, look, this is the GPT chat already connected. Now to log in, what I'm going to do is open an incognito window. I'm going to put here chat openair.com so that you can see what comes out. Okay, this one already had it connected here. Well, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out of here so you can see it. Okay, you can log in or you can create an account, sorry. And here you enter the email address, but you can do it with a Google account. So you enter a Google account and from that moment on, it is linked to your Google account. As I was telling you, here we are, here. I get in here and say, which is the GPT chat? Here, we can go to the end, okay? And here we have the explanation of GPT chat. GPT chat is an artificial intelligence chatbot developed by PNI, launched on November 30th, as I've already mentioned. It allows users to refine and guide a conversation to a desired length, style, and level of language detail. It takes into account previous messages as context, has developed a tendency to provide confidently incorrect information at times, which is one of the limitations I will discuss shortly. Until January, it became the fastest growing consumer application in history, reaching over 100 million users. Look, all of this it has built based on the question I asked. Let's go back to the presentation to see what the problems are. The first one we have already commented, ChatGPT, that it makes things up because it doesn't truly understand what we say, but is a mathematical tool that predicts words. It predicts them with a lot of confidence. But if we don't know what it's talking about, it can slip in things that are completely false. Sometimes it invents bibliographic references. This is what is known as hallucinations. Well, that problem. We must keep that in mind. In fact, on the internet, it said that GPT chat is the world's best intern because you ask it for one thing and it provides exceptional work. However, you can't trust it. You have to know what you're talking about to review it because sometimes it can slip in something that isn't true. Maybe 90% of the time, what it tells you is true, but that 10% can cause a significant problem. The second downside is that what you upload is used for learning. In fact, some US companies have already prohibited their users from using GPT chat. Why? Because users have input confidential information and that information goes into the GPT chat database or personal data. Always keep in mind that whatever you upload to GPT chat will be shared. So if it's something confidential or something that shouldn't be shared, don't upload it. Rewrite your question, known as a prompt in GPT chat jargon, so that confidential data doesn't appear. As of September 21st, it only has data until then. It's not very good with mathematics. You can ask it to solve a problem, and it will respond as if it can, but it's possible that it might make a mistake. Another significant limitation is that it works with a maximum number of words, specifically 4,096 tokens, 
which are distributed between what you input in the prompt and what it returns. Considering that a word in Spanish is roughly between 1 and 1.5 tokens, we could be talking about around 3,000 words. Considering that a page of text is roughly 400 words in Word, we would be talking about 8 or 9 pages of text distributed between input and output, resulting in about 3 or 4 pages of output. If it exceeds that, it probably won't work. This concludes the video where I've explained what GPT Chat is. I provided you with the payment options so that you can start experimenting. You can ask it to give you a summary, create a form for a municipality, improve your English, or try anything else you'd like.